Hello. Now, this is a really dark room. Let's maybe get turn on a light. Better. Okay. So, a while back, Jack sucks. Um, Jack, man, Jack sucks at life. Welsh, massy. Jack, let's just say Jack. Jack made this video. No, j j okay, j j Jack sucks at life. He made this video. One second. I must do something. So he made this video. And if you don't know what this video was, it was a really nice video. Now. Basically, what this video is. As he made a video where he went on Wikipedia and did a bunch of non-nice things. Well, the, well, we're not gonna be reacting to his video. We're gonna, no, we actually are, but we're gonna reacting to a, to not the video where he actually did it. But fun fact, I'm gonna quickly mention that there was an articles for del deletion discussion. Articles for deletion slash Jack sucks at life. There was an articles for deletion discussion. And keep in mind, this was a new unanimous close, unanimous delete. But let's just take a look at this. This video, I got permanently banned from Wikipedia. Okay, in our last video, we've firstly, uh, we've firstly, a bit of a ruckus. So if you try firstly, to stop, stop the video. Um, in Wikipedia, banning actually does not mean. What happened in this video was um you um was your page got protected from being created, which is not banning. And Wikipedia banning actually refers to when the arbitration committee gets rid, um, prohibits the user from editing or something. Let's take a look at this. Wikipedia article for Jack Sucks at Life right now. It says this page is currently protected so that only extended confirmed users and administrators can create it. This I am an extended confirmed user, so let's just quickly check. Well, now it's only administrators can edit, but at some point it was extended confirmed users can edit. because of my last video, Jack Sucks at Life has been banned from Wikipedia, which is pretty funny. But at the same time, I do want to issue an actual genuine apology to Wikipedia moderators because I have caused a bit of a ruckus. So let's go through what happened. Calling it a bit of a ruckus is a bit of an understatement. Yesterday I released a video saying I edited my own Wikipedia to say whatever I want. In this video I mainly messed about on a website called Wikitubia, which is a fandom web Which is infinitely inferior to Wikipedia. ...website where all of the pages are about various YouTubers. So I did some fairly harmless stuff on this, like saying that I was handsome. Now once my video released, it did lead to people going onto the Wikitubia and kind of trolling it a little bit. Here's an old screenshot of what my article looked like yesterday, but the staff just reverted it back. I'm not sure. I'm probably gonna be able to confirm that that is true if I go into the history, but I'm not sure. To a previous version. And one of the admins actually sent me a really nice email thanking me for doing the video, which I appreciate. But also in the video, I did go onto the Wikipedia page for Bishop Auckland, which is the town where I grew up. But because I thought it would be kind of funny to just add myself to the bottom of the notable peoples list. I, I should not have done this. So let's just go to the page for Bishop Auckland for a second. So... First of all, now it's extended protected. Wait, wait, let just load. So it's extended protected now. I've I've seen this page before. So let's take a look at some of the edits in the past. So we're gonna go to November sixth, twenty nineteen. Right here, my dear. Now, I think this was the first edit where this issue occurred. Let's take a look. Yep, it was the first edit. This is the first edit. So Jack Six at Life was added to it. And then let's take a look at the amount of edits following this edit. A lot of them. Right here is where the page was protected. But even then, there are still people doing this until it got extended protected. But... 
Was this revved out or was it oversighted? Okay. Well, this continues. I made a severe and continuous lapse in my judgment. The way you gotta think of it is, we've got Wikitubia. This is a site built for and by the YouTube community, and everyone that has entered information into my article were a fan of me personally. Then we've got Wikipedia, specifically the Bishop Auckland Wikipedia page, which was written by Wikipedia volunteers who have no idea who I am. They don't care about me. I add myself to the bottom of the notable people thing, because I think it'd be funny. The Wiki- Okay. So let's look at Wikipedia's policies on humor. This isn't a policy, it's an essay, but just don't tell anybody. So humor in articles is sometimes misinterpreted. It damages Wikipedia's credibility and you're and not everyone is looking for it. I feel like this at uh, this got so out of hand that it probably actually did ruin the credibility of Wikipedia. You know, they didn't ruin it. They just worsened it. Go away. At some point, some of the contributors got kind of, just kind of, um, you know. Let's take a look at this. So, there's notable people. Well, at some point, it got kind of out of hand, such that some of the administrators that started replying got a bit this is what I'm looking for. A bit aggressive. Starting off with go away. <clears throat> then there was that one. Where's this one? Now, it's saying that the user's not notable. They're saying that he's not notable, which I can honestly understand. So a lot of the comments on this video really made me cringe. The comments were like, they they always they interpreted it as they didn't want, as they did specifically didn't want this guy on a page because he has have his own have his own page because he's a YouTuber. But it isn't that at all. It's actually that the Wikipedia Net General Notability Guideline, he doesn't meet the General Notability Guideline. But there's also subject specific notability guidelines. So what I can do is we can go to the part on um, people. So um, creative professionals. Wait, wait a minute. Um, entertainers. Here we go. They must have had significant roles in multiple. Yeah, this. Wait. So multiple notable films, TV shows. Okay. So the thing is. This one I don't really understand because it doesn't. This one actually doesn't. It's, it feels like it, you know. Ex, it excludes YouTubers, but I feel like, but there, but there was a wiki project. There was a there's a notability um, essay. Um, assessment. Notability. Wait, there was a section on this where they talk about notability, but we're gonna get to that later. Wikipedia mods remove that, then my video comes out and hundreds of people try to repeatedly add me over and over again, and some- That's called... Edit Warring. Now... Essentially, this technically actually isn't edit warring because it was vandalism that was being reverted. But actually, it wasn't that. It was administrators reverting vandalism that was being reverted. And I'm pretty sure there are certain users who had repeatedly done this. Like, a lot. And then they made this rule. This rule is called the three revert rule. So, yeah. Essentially, um, if you revert more than three edits, they have to be um, non-vandalism in, in a span of 24 hours. You can get blocked per the three revert rule. And essentially, um, th that's pretty much what happened. There's a lot of reverting administrators' ad intervention against vandalism in this page. So, yeah. Edit warning. There's going to be a lot of blocks, a lot of IP addresses being blocked because none of these were actual accounts. At least, not a lot of them were actual accounts. Some people put some quite immature things. So, the Wikipedia. I do believe that is called. 
vandalism, but we're gonna get to that in a bit. Ads were not happy. Quite the juxtaposition from the previous email, I got an email from a Wikipedia moderator who told me that I do not meet the notability requirements to be on Wikipedia, which I do find interesting. And then they said, please do not encourage others to make an article for you, and please do not make one yourself or pay someone else to do so. so it that is called... Meat puppetry. Where you basically, um... It's where you bring other editors to Wikipedia with the intention of um, disruptively edit, disruptively editing, having those. For example, if you go ahead and call your friend and tell him, hey, I'm in this deletion discussion, please go support it. That would be meat puppetry. So yeah, even though I don't think that actually, this actually constitutes meat puppetry because, wait, let's just take a look for a moment. The IP address, I'm looking for the IP address to see if it's been blocked, just, just for good measure. Nope, well, Essentially, meat puppetry, this is really isn't meat puppetry because you didn't go straight up just saying, Hey everyone, go and create articles about me. This is more, it, it really, it's just the fact that you didn't prevent them from doing that, that's the problem. It will likely result in little other than your article being deleted, whether immediately or after a discussion. After we Speedy deletion, articles for deletion. Which recreation tends to lead to what is called salting, where the page is protected from being created again for a set amount of time. In fact, in a We've a This is where the part where I'm going to bring up the articles for deletion discussion I mentioned earlier. So essentially, um, it was marked. Um, it was marked for deletion, and and the consensus was exclusively in favor of deleting. But some of them, but a lot of them actually said, but four of them suggested to speedy delete it per G4. G4 is um, recreation of deleted content. So until eventually the, it got it had gotten so out of hand that the page was salted. So yeah, that's a, an explanation of it. The administrator has already salted the article indefinitely. Your fans have caused some problems. There was considerable vandalism on the Bishop Auckland page leading to that article being protected. And yes, any Jack Sucks at Life article is now automatically... Wait a minute. People were trying to create templates? Let's see, um, are there drafts that are being, I mean, drafts aren't salted, which is wonderful, but that's, that's not the point. Um, so there's, um, there's all, was, is there, um, Wikipedia namespace art pages out of, nope. You know, I should probably create an essay about this situation. Let's call it, um. I don't know. We're gonna make the essay. Um, please don't be Jack Sucks at Life. Let's let's create this essay. So first of all, you have to mention the fact that it's an essay on um, notability guideline. Let's take a look at it for a moment. Um, I'm actually going to create this essay later, but let's just take a look at this video. Deleted like this one. Basically, the Bishop Awkward webpage is now locked, as you can see. And if you view the history, look at how often people were attempting to edit it. This is literally multiple edits every minute until it eventually got locked by the mods. Here we have a moderator that says, No, enough. Not notable. Cut it out. Wikipedia is not a place for YouTubers to spread their fame on. Piss off. Good. Uh, uh, um, uh, 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 civility. You, fa you follow follow that guideline. Wait a minute. Because there is an administrator. It's just I've, I've this user is actually a pretty well known Wikipedian, so I know him. Wait a minute, I think I do. I mean, I mean I've seen edits that he has made in the past, and these edits that have been made by him were pretty wonderful. In fact, they were really wonderful in some cases. I mean, yeah, 
they were pretty whatever. Now let's take a look at me. <laughs> Basically, Wikipedia, I am very sorry. I think what I did in my video was fine because it takes like a second for someone to remove it. I just underestimated the impact that my viewers would have and I didn't think there would be anywhere near as many people trying to like mess with it. So please leave Wikipedia alone now. Okay, thank you very much. Please don't hurt me, Wikipedia men. Now that being said, now that the bishop... I'll try my best not to hurt you. Non Wikipedia man. The Falkland page on Wikipedia is locked, and the Jack Sucks at Life page on Wikitubia is also locked. No more damage for you, psychos, can be done. So, well, I mean, I'm an extended confirmed user, so I can, I can, I can edit it. Um, what is something I can edit it with? Um, no. Means we could look at some of the ridiculous edits that people made because some of it was kind of funny in a really annoying and obnoxious way. <laughs> so going back through my Twitter notifications, this was the point at which my video was released. And the first thing that I started getting were people telling me that I was removed from the notable people list. But then I started getting people telling me that I'd been added back onto the list again because obviously someone had undone the undo that someone else did to me. <laughs> they also added the full stop that I forgot to do, so I appreciate that. Thanks, guys. Then people started messing with my Wikitubia, and I was known as Jack Septicai and Jack Sucks at Roblox. And Jack's Films. And stuff. Oh, now it's Jack Sir. We're gonna skip... I'm gonna skip past the Wikitubia sections because the Wikitubia sections don't have anything to do with Wikipedia. And yesterday, I was put to the top of notable people on the Bishop Auckland Wikipedia, and the line, he's a proper mad sesh head and never refuses a drink on a night out. I believe that that actually at that point constitutes disruptive editing, even getting into, um, bordering into vandalism. And even if that's the case, and even if it doesn't, it's still definitely original research and not and non-neutral was added fantastic i don't understand why the wikipedia guys were annoyed at me jesus christ look at how many times it was being edited i'm so sorry and is the owner of a lot of kazoos thanks for adding that on there that is original research even though it's true someone then added a comma to bishop comma <laughs> oh man i'm so sorry I don't live in a place called Bishop, which is inside a place called Auckland. People just started self-advertising. He also wants people to subscribe to his friend Jack's YouTube channel called Jack Plays 93. As he <coughs> and also... <laughs> and also, um... He has the same name as him. Who else that? <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic, that one. Personal favourite, no worries. Oh, actually, no, I take it back. This is my favourite rendition of the Jack Sucks at Life wiki. <laughs> Jack Massey Welsh, former CEO But of... it's not Wikitubia, so it's not Wikipedia, so I'll just skip this one. Trouble. Thank Christ. And we were removed from Bishop Auckland 1, and the page was locked so that people couldn't cause any... It's cool just for me, but obviously all of these were just being automatically deleted. So let's take a look at why... They weren't being automatically deleted, that's... Let's just find it that. significant what the actual definition is. So, general notability guidelines. If a topic has received significant coverage in reliable sources that are independent of the subject, it is presumed to be suitable for a standalone article. So I guess that means I need to have been featured on things outside of my own channel, perhaps? You know, like newspaper articles and that kind of thing. There's also specific notability. Okay. So. Even then, if you have some reliable sources, it's still not going to work. Because they can't, because they have to be reliable sources that are not only independent, but are also, but you also have to receive significant coverage in them. So it's not just like saying, for example, let's open Notepad. So what would be considered notable notability would be, would be um, an, an in-depth article about him, right? What, what, what would it be considered notability is essentially saying, for example... So essentially, this situation happened, and Jack Sucks Life was involved with it, but never mentioning his name again. It's has to, it has to be a non-trivial mention. It has to be a message that is not a, me a mention that's not a trivial mention, right? 
So that means that it can't. So it has to be significant coverage. So yeah. It's a guideline for entertainers. Let's. Take a look at that. Actors, voice actors, comedians, opinion makers, models, and celebrities have had significant roles in multiple notable films, television shows, stage performances, or other productions. That sounds potentially a little bit outdated to me. As a large fan base or a significant cult following, we have. So as for this one, I'm not gonna lie. This one actually does sound outdated, but so be more specific. This one, he actually probably does actually meet this one. So yeah has made unique, prolific, or innovative contributions to a field of entertainment. I mean, he's not like revolutionizing anything, but yeah. Half a million subscribers, but to be fair, that doesn't mean we get a million views per video. And then there's a specific section about YouTube notability. YouTubers are internet celebrities. All right, and slash notability. So this is the essay that, yeah. Whose fame has come about through their publishing of their own videos on YouTube that they feature in. Articles about YouTubers are regularly nominated for deletion and the outcome is generally to delete. A frequent argument put forward for keeping the article is that the subject is notable because of their number of subscribers or the number of times their videos have been viewed. Consensus, however, is that this is an insufficient basis by which to establish notability. That, that part alone is enough, that r it should be enough to make all the guys saying Wikipedia is censoring YouTubers from the platform. That part right there should enough, you know, should completely, you know, what's it called, you know, um, eliminate those people, but they still stayed around. YouTuber articles that were either kept or deleted. So it is not like a personal vendetta against me. It's just their general rules. Look, apparently Deji, KSI's brother, doesn't even get a Wikipedia page. By the way, I'm um, fun fact, Trey Kennedy, he passes, and he is a pretty cool guy. And he has like 10 million subscribers at this point. Apparently Keemstar doesn't even have a Wikipedia page. What? Surely he does. It's right here. <laughs> this is so interesting. Based on the table above, the percentage of articles kept as of September 2017 are as follows. So 40% of articles made about YouTubers with between 1 million and 2 million subscribers were kept and the other 60% were deleted. And if it was less than 100,000, it was only about 10% were kept. Okay, so we need to wait till we have 5 million subscribers and then Wikipedia might let us have a Wikipedia page. I no, it's it's generally because people with over five million subscribers also meet um general notability guideline. They general they generally meet the general notability guideline a lot easier than these human beings. I have never felt more motivated. Chris, thank you very much for sending me this email. I appreciate you being polite considering how annoying things probably were. Third time I've mentioned this, but civility during this time. Let's take a look at some of the revision histories and so we can see some of the things that got removed. Oh my god, we were on it twice in this version. YouTuber Jack Massey Welsh, better known as Jack Sucks at Life, was born and grew up in the town. YouTuber Jack Massey Welsh, known online as Jack Sucks at Life, formerly Jack Sucks MC, has over a million subscribers. That is not notable! Not enough! Do we make not notable enough for Wikipedia merch? That's the real question here. Ryan Albert has... I mean, I do believe you actually did make it, so let's just take a look if I can buy it because, you know, it's wonderful merch. There's... It's not here. It's not here? Please make it again! Attacked Wikipedia, and this is an awesome Hello Jack hide. <laughs> I just don't understand how the mod- So that- so that was, you know, actual genuine vandalism. I mean, yeah. I was so mad about it. <laughs> Look at this no Remove depiction of male genitalia from the PC spec section. <laughs> that was a bit of a euphemistic description. <laughs> I want to see the male genitalia. Where is it? PC specs. Let's have a little scroll. Where is it? Where is it? Go on. Hey! <laughs> Got a guy called Big Boy Scouts. This I'm is Wikipedia. Like let's I understand skip understand not whacking me on the Bishop Auckland page, but I don't see the harm in there being a separate article that doesn't clash with any other part of the website. But whatever. Please don't mess with anywhere on Wikipedia. There's no harm, but it's also there's also nothing to gain from it. Wikipedia, I will never do it again, I promise. Fortunately, the page is still locked, so you shouldn't be able to cause any problems anyway. As is my Wikitubia. 
I mean, I can theoretically cause problems. Well, <laughs> thank you very much for watching. Click that like button if you enjoyed. <laughs> I'll see you next time. Jack sir. Okay, now. I shall. Let's, let's do some other thoughts. So. Now. Let's take a look at some of the edits that were made in this situation. Because, you know, why would we not? Right? Give me your rollback permissions already. Let's go back right here. So, let's take a look to see the notability guideline. So, subject specific notability. So, he fails the notability guideline. He fails general notability guideline. He also fails specific notability guideline, which is not a very good sign. So, I mean, the moral of the story is okay. He, he it, was, it was funny while it lasted, right? But, what, the way, but the thing is, why do you have to do that? Like, why did you have to do it? Like, I mean, you didn't, you should have specific, the thing is, the thing is, I know you didn't encourage them to do it, but, and the question is, what, what would have happened if you specifically told them not to? They would have probably done even more so, so. The only other solution is to just not do it. So, yeah. Let's finish this off by creating the essay. But first, but first, but first. I'm looking for something, but what is it going to be? Let's take a look. Okay. So it's a notability essay template. So let's just do that.
Okay. So let's do this essay creation. But I'm going to stop the video now because... Yeah. Now, final thoughts. This man, he created the page on himself. I'm a sad. He actually didn't create a page, but he added himself to this, which repeatedly, which prompted other users to do the same, and repeatedly did the same, until eventually, it had, got, until eventually it got to the point where, you know, they had to, you know, salt it. But, please don't mess with any Wikipedia articles. Okay, yeah, seriously, don't, don't. Okay, bye. I'm going to request oversight of this video.